It's week seven of the NFL, and we've got the Dolphins, leader at quarterback. He's going to have to air it out plenty this week. It's the Dolphins and the Colts next on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League. Miami set to take over. And Charles, still a long way to go in the season. We know that. But as it stands, these are your top two seeds in the AFC. So I ask you, is this a potential AFC championship preview? Brandon, I need you to get me a fence and a saddle because I'm about to ride that bad boy because I think there's so many good teams in the AFC. Maybe we could look at like three games a weekend and say, this could be an AFC championship preview. And that is not fooling anyone. He never had a chance to turn the corner there, and they'll go backwards right away. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up, and then some on second and 13. They'll run. Here's Devon Achan. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Looking to throw. Lewis buying time to his left. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. A quick throw complete on to Beckham. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. The Dolphins hit a perfect 5-0 here to begin the campaign. And they come in with fresh legs. They got the extra time off thanks to an early season open week. And usually your hope is that your open week comes a little bit later in the year. But when you get a chance to get your fresh legs back, you have to take that time and run with it. And that's what they're trying to get done here. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Back to throw, Lewis. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That That's might be P.I. Defense. Well, sometimes when you try to defend OBJ, you're going to get a P.I. call. You might get a P.I. call at just about any point during his route. And I think a lot of teams have taken the, the whole philosophy of, hey, just go ahead and do what you have to do and hope eventually they'll quit calling it. But not in this case. They drop the flag for the pass interference. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. He got 29 yards that time. Here we go now on first and goal. Now they send a man in motion right. Now a fake on the jet sweep, and off the play action, he'll look to throw it. They'll swing this out wide. Here's HM. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Second and goal from the one. HM, he is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Dolphins get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Remember oh, yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one.
Dolphins offense and their quarterback coming out for their second drive. And he's putting together a very strong first half of the season. Currently the NFL's leader in touchdown passes. Throwing to start the drive. Lewis. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now HN on first and 10. And he'll be taken down right around the 41-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed, but they really want him to be that guy, and that's what they're doing early in this game. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. They go play action here on first down. Out to his left. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Here's second and ten. Operating from the gun. Lewis steps away to his left. Toward the sideline. And look at that catch. Dragging the toes. And that's going to be a first down. Well done. Back to the ground, HN. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Looking to throw. Lewis over the middle complete. That's Hill. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Tyreek Hill, his ninth touchdown of the season as his guys are able to extend their lead. Charles, every time that he makes one of these plays, I, I think the front office, they get a bigger and bigger collective smile because they feel more confident that they have found their guy, their future at quarterback. The Dolphins offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he's an early front runner for MVP in the NFL here in the first half of the season. As you can see, he's a league leader in passing yards at this stage of the game. They'll start on the ground with Mostert. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. Here's a second and five. A run straight ahead with HM. And space tough to come by there as they get maybe a yard to the 37. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draw. He's got it at the 15. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill, his 10th touchdown of the season, second of the game. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. And he continues to be a focal point of this offense. That's now 10 touchdown catches for him on the year. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He's thrown for two touchdowns and run for another already in this first half as his guy. starts with a run from HM. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Back to throw. Lewis. That one complete to Hill. 
And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And now third down and six to go. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. From the gun on third down, Lewis. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. They'll swing this complete out to Hill. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Up the middle, HN. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. The last two plays each lose a yard. They'll try to move forward here on third and 12. Operating from the gun. Lewis flushed out right. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A solid run of 11 there as he tucked and ran, but he's still short of the marker at its fourth. Thanks to his effort, they now have a big choice to make here. He just ran up in the field goal range with that one, so here come the choices. Do they kick it here, or do they trust him to make another big play and possibly get a first down? And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. And they'll give this day champ. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hill. And he's brought down, but he has it down to the 12 on a pickup of 12. First and 10. He has really thrown the ball well here in this first half. You see the numbers up over 200 passing yards already. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. From the gun, a run with Moster. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Off the bootleg, Lewis. They'll roll him out right. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Durham Smythe from 10 yards out. And the Dolphins continue to pull away here in this first half. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass this young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more... Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He's already a count. Here we go, here we go. Check up. Throwing to start the drive. Lewis. Oh, a first mistake for him in the ball game as it's intercepted. And the return will stop right around the 25. They've got a pretty comfortable lead right now, but maybe a little too careless with the football that time for the rookie. I think the key. He threw the interception on the previous drive, but that only led to three points. Defense held him to a field goal. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. Dancing to his left. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Operating from the gun, Lewis. And going deep for Hill. It's caught at the 10. And he'll be taken down, but first he gets deep into Indianapolis territory. A big play there just before halftime. 55 yards. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Looking to throw. Lewis. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line.
so we come upon halftime in the second. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. Third quarter starts with a run from Mostert. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. And that'll bring up second down. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. From the gun on third down, Lewis. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. Here's Mostert. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Here's second and goal operating from the eight-yard line. Now a toss right side, HM with it. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A second down play results in a loss of two yards. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Visitors offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. Ready. In motion, Hill. <laughs> On the ground, it's Mostert to start the drive. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. Holding offense. So that time they get the tight end on the hold. Normally he's a pretty down. good run blocker, but this time he just didn't get his arms extended and let go quickly enough. The flag came out as a result. On the handoff, it's A-Chan. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. The way things have gone in this one, the running game's been something of an afterthought, and that's not been too bad for them, has it? Yeah, the offensive returns have been good, but I guess we figured he and the ground game would be a bit more involved. On oh, the out route, he's got Mostert, and he'll be out right at the 35. They'll come up facing third and five. Back to throw, Lewis. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Here he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. He has been confused. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. And they'll start out here with a jet sweep. A little juke. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Colts territory. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. In motion goes the tight end. HN gets it from the gun. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. The 
the Dolphins about set to go to work on offense. Throwing to start the drive. Lewis. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Off play action. Lewis sliding out of the pocket. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. The numbers throwing the ball have been great. He's up over 300 yards now for the game. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 41. Beckham in motion right. Now a play fake here on first down. And that'll be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. This is a champ. And a nice move will yield nothing as he stopped behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. When this offense gathers to watch the tape, they're going to like a lot of what they saw. They put up big numbers, but they might fast forward through that last play. Oh, there won't be any fast forwarding, partner. I've sat in those sessions before. You end up spending more time on the bad plays than you do on the good ones. It's just the nature of coaches. But I know sitting in that... And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Rowe. And the Colts are right back in this football game. We're holding on to the lead at this stage in the second half. Those are the types of plays you really want to try and stay away from. And when you're a rookie, you keep... The Miami's offense set and ready to go. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Now Mostert off the read option. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. And this is the worry because sometimes you get a little too predictable in spots like this. You know you're going to run the ball, but they know you're going to run the ball as well. And now you look up and you're staring at an important third down. And that one going. The visitors offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. Play fake. Lewis. That's caught. Waddle on the left side. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line. In motion left, Hill. On first and 10, it's Mostert. Trying to get out wide, but he's going to be tackled right near the line of scrimmage. Second and 10. And they'll send the tight end in motion left. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. Open man downfield is Waddle. He's got him. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 36. Gets this one to Hill. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. In motion, Hill. And they'll get it forward to him on the touch pass. Oh, good move. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Off 
Off play action. Lewis. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Off the play fake. Lewis steps away. Working in zone, but it's incomplete. Probably smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I guarantee you he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. And this is going to be incomplete. And when you've thrown as many interceptions as he has in this one, you definitely start getting a little hesitant to throw the ball out wild because that's prime pick six territory. That time, he made sure the only guy who's going to catch it was sitting in the third row. Miami set to take over. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown. Play action. Lewis on the move to his left. He completes it to Beckham. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. The numbers there tell the story. That last completion going to move him up over 400 yards passing now for the game. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Out of the gun, here's a give to A-Chan. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. Brandon, sometimes it just comes down to the power of suggestion because I know exactly what they said all week long. We're coming off the open week. We'll have the fresher legs in the fourth quarter, and they will wilt when we get to that point. And right now, it appears that they're thinking that exact thing. Yeah, offensively, they had the bye last week. Defensively, did not. Is that really a big factor? Is that more talk during the week? I think the more that you talk about it, the more that you emphasize it, the more sometimes it comes true for your team. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Here we go Running left, HN. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. And sometimes things come together exactly like you want. It's not just been the volume of carries he's had in this contest, it's been the production as well. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Achan on the counter. And he is going to have a Miami first down, and the Dolphins are going to win the football game. A-chan here, they stay on the ground. And here he'll get it down to the seven. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Well, it looks like they'll move things around here. Go. A run straight ahead with A-chan. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. It's a gain of six, and that ought to just about do it. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. A-Chan will take this in for the Dolphin touchdown. Well, he'd been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with the touchdown run. Well, this was a fun one today if you like points. A lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles' defenses, meanwhile, have a little something to clean up before their next contest.
Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign in it, did that? I mean, for both sides, visit it. And with frequency. Not fun to be a defensive player, but on the offensive side of the ball, those guys had a blast. One team came away with a victory, even better for them. So for the Dolphins, they remain as hot as anyone, 6-0 now through the first month and a half. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Colts, they dropped just their second game so far as they fall to 5-2. And, and they